What was that? Was that my phone? I was sound asleep. You fell asleep while driving? A message from Shirley. She called me again. What could she want this late? Maybe she'll call again tomorrow. I gotta go. The hell was that? Where are we? A hospital, huh? Must be abandoned, or else it's got terrible upkeep. What's with him in these creepy places? Should I go in? No. Oh. No, let's go. Come on, back home. David, we're leaving. Fuck off, David. Vroom. How the hell did you fit your car through there? David Houdini. Damn it, Houdini. Oh, no. A vending machine. In other words, D. Oh, God. There's nothing inside. This is gonna be terrible. It's locked. Wonder if there's anything inside. It's a simple lock, so maybe I could open it without a key. There's nothing inside. The trash can is empty. Copy machine. Some sort of equipment. Cardboard box. It says, I don't care. An array of nurse called lights. A key, bo a key box locked with a passcode. Uh, six, six, oh. God damn it. Uh, it's a Rubik's Cube. Okay, never mind this. Getting off. Okay, so where are we going? Ah, locked door. Is this lock battery operated? It's not working, so the batteries must be dead. Well, the place is abandoned. You don't know that. Maybe the place just doesn't like you and everyone just hid in like a wall or something. It's Mr. Confident. Door seems to be busted. Well, walk in then. Screw you, David. Stupid doors, it's locked. Busted! Damn it, David. Stop scaring the world. We only want you to make friends. Hey, blood! I'm gonna assume I'm gonna have to go in there. Yep. Okay. Okay, I don't wanna. Hey there, what's this? There's dark red writing on the bed, likely blood. Do not mourn them. Do not avert your eyes. It is happier for them. I have saved them. Them? Who's them? Who knows? Maybe it's you, David. Maybe it's all you. Maybe this is all part of your imagination. God damn. I need to find objects. Third floor. Where's the bathroom? I haven't found it yet. So many locked doors. Oh god, there. No, this isn't gonna be it. Hey, book. If I can stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can ease one life the aching, or cool the pain, or help one fading robin unto its nest again, I shall not live in vain. Emily Elizabeth Dick Dickerson. Dickinson. That was pretty nice. A magazine rack. The latest ones are 10 years old. God damn. This place was abandoned a long time ago, huh? A beverage dispenser. Give me coke! I mean... Sorry. I'm gonna assume I just don't have to do anything. Okay! Oh! What the hell? The poor thing. I can't look. Why would you do this? Wait, there's something in there. Uh, got a bloody key. That is... That is messed up. I'm gonna save. God damn, dude. The door seems to be busted. Fuck this door. 
Door seems to be busted. It's busted. 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 I'm gonna assume I gotta go back to the first floor and open that door that was locked. Which was the one that was locked? I think it was this one. No, it wasn't you. God, where do we go? Screw this place. You. But the key doesn't... Ah, god damn it. Yep. I do not like this place. Upstairs. Hey, it's urine. Some kind of some kind of dried fluid. It might be vomit. <laughs> the crooked man is pregnant. Oh no. What the hell was that? Hey. A single chair. You did not see that, David. Got a scrap from a notebook. I sat in the chair and watched the bed like always. Only there was no one in the bed anymore. What have I accomplished? I could only watch my family scream. I still can't answer that question. It's his notebook. No doubt he was here. But is he still here now? And all honestly, let's hope not. Because if he is, he might die. Jars are empty. Well, damn it. Hey guys, we're back! And, uh, I know what I have to do. Because I, you know, totally didn't cheat or anything. But, uh, I do not know the answer to this. I just know I need to do this. So, uh, oh, right. Forgot, can't use my mouse. Um, nope. God damn it. Yeah! Why? Okay, let's start over. Let's start over. We messed this up. God damn it. No. <laughs> Why? Try this again. Uh. No. Oh! Open the key box. Got the caf cafeteria key and the elevator trunk key. There's two keys in there. Oh no. So I got the, the elevator key. Okay, no I don't. Is this a cafeteria? No, this is the number lock. But where the hell are the cafeterias? It must be one of the next two floors. Because... I know that. Cousin Smart. Obviously. Unlock the cafeteria! Oh no. My Coca Cola! They brought it to empty! Damn it, Soda! Got a small wire. Oh, thank you, Soda. That's for the. That's obviously for the lock. I mean, for the locker. I'm just gonna ignore everything else and, uh, continue with this, because I don't wanna try to figure out that freaking passcode again. Back downstairs to the locker. Because I, I obviously know that. Actually, I am figuring this part out. The only part I cheated on was the knowing how to get to that thing. Gotta know about a number lock. Can I, can I read it? Thanks, David. That would have helped a lot. Which is the one from the number lock? Oh, no, that's the bloody key. Bloody key, stinking key. 4489. I'm gonna assume that's the. Wait, which was the one that needed a number lock? One of them needed a number lock, I think. I think it was you, but you're locked. So I gotta turn on the power. How do I do that? Was there anything else that needed a number lock? I have an elevator something key. Item. I had a first aid tag. I don't like walking into that room. So noisy and staticky. Let me in. I must have your babies. I mean, let me in. 
It'll be a uh, fun experience. It's locked. Screw you. Pry door. Pry open doors. Uh oh. Saving. An elevator trunk. It's locked. Oh, okay. Use the trunk key. Got an AED. The hell is that? An automatic external defibrillator has only a little battery left. Ah, I'm gonna have to use that to open the, to turn the power on downstairs, aren't I? I think. May I can save the kitty. Hey! <laughs> Just shut him up. I'm a little snap! That was fucking creepy. What are you doing here? Are your mom and dad not around? Did you come here alone? Um, are you, are you mute perhaps? Mama said not to talk to strangers! Ah. Well, then I'll introduce myself. I'm David. I'm 26 years old. I live kind of far from here. My hobby is... watching baseball, I guess. Oh, I have baseball too! Mama gave me a job so I play every Saturday! Whoa, I'm jealous. Hey, so what's your name, little guy? Flaffy! <laughs> Flaffy? That's your name? Yeah! Mama says my hair's fluffy like a towel! So? Fluffy! I see. Where is your mama? Fluffy? I don't know! You don't know? Did you not come here with her? Um, well, we, 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 were, we were going back home and I was walking right by Mama. Then she went to get something she forgot. I didn't want to wait outside, so I came in here and sang. But Mama had to come back. So you got lost. Is your house close to here? Um, my house is close to school, but you can't see school from here. So I guess it's pretty, probably, pretty, probably far. Probably, 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 probably far. Pretty far. Pretty far indeed. Right. You're really something to have waited here all alone. Great. A kid lost late at night. I think there's a sheriff sheriff's office nearby. Maybe I should take him there. Maybe you should. Hey, Fluffy. It's scary in the dark, isn't it? How about you go with me to Mr. Policeman? It's kind of creepy there, David. Okay, let's go. No! <laughs> What's wrong, Fluffy? I'll have Mr. Policeman show you a patrol car. Don't you want to come along? I'm not scared of the dark. I'm a big boy. You're just a scary cat, aren't you? Fluffy! No, where are they going? Why, are, why is everyone so fast? Better give chase, I guess. And again, hey, his mama find him. I don't want to be questioned by the police anyways. I'll take him somewhere safe if they see him again. Where are you going to take him, you asshole? Okay, so where are we going? We were on a journey to... Check if the defibrillator opened up the downstairs lock. Does it? An automatic... Yeah! I called it. Open the lid and took out the battery. Oh, now I can do it. 4489, I think. 448... No. Damn it! Well, at least now I can read it. Yeah, I was right. I just didn't put it in right. Four. Four. That's not a four. Eight. Nine. Hooray! Saving. Where are we going, David? Oh my god. Hey there, what are you? There's something on the desk. Got the key to the counseling room. Yay! Saving. I don't like doing anything without saving anymore. What the hell is this? This doesn't even look like part of the hospital. A lock safe. A diary, probably written by the director. I received a puzzle box the other day. Rather interesting thing to open it. You have to arrange letter pieces from, to form a word. Of course, I made the keyword my favorite word. That irreplaceable thing which always makes me happy just to say. In fact, I should show the box to my daughter. Unbelievable. When I showed my daughter the puzzle box, she hid all the pieces. 
So what's inside isn't really something you use every day. Though it's not a huge deal. She actually gave me hints on where they are, but I can't find any. Maybe when I have time. More importantly, I don't know if I can bring myself to scold my troublesome daughter. Got a scrap with hints. Okay. Okay. Oh god. Okay, where's the... Where's the hints? Oh, hint paper. Written by the director's daughter. Flour is good. Wash your hands. Where do you have lunch? Give me a call. Nurses know that. Get close to the sky. Uh... Flour is good. Wash your hands. So it sounds like they're talking about food. Where do you have lunch? Still sounds like food. Give me a call. Nurses know that. Get close to the sky. I don't know. A wooden box. There is six in ignition. I should get all the feet. Oh. Never mind. I thought I had to. I guess I gotta find these freaking pieces. That's gonna suck. Emergency patient door. The door won't open. The man's bathroom. Lock is busted. Is it busted too? Yeah, of course it is. Nope. Lock doors. Don't care. Going upstairs. Hey! I missed you. There you are, Fluffy. Don't you know not to wander off alone? I can handle the dark fine. I told you, I'm a big boy. I'm not gonna cry like some baby. You sure you sure do seem brave, Fluffy. I have to admire that. Really? <laughs> yeah, you're as brave as Captain America. I'm kinda scared of walking in the dark, but here I am looking for someone. If only there was someone here to depend on. Just my luck. Okay, I'll go if you miss David. Whoa, really? Well, wow, what a relief. Thanks. I feel so much safer with you here, Fluffy. Heh <laughs> heh. I'll protect you, Mr. David. We'll stick together until his mother shows up. If she doesn't, share us off it as is. Chip. Words. Oh my god, he follows me. Boop, 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 boop. Something, something bad is going to happen to this kid. What's this stuff? I don't really know either. Bastera. It's the, it's the only, it's the thingy the doctors use, uses. I want one. Can I have it? Um, it's kind of dirty. You probably shouldn't. But that's not a thing. Just a table. Okay, guess we're leaving. I like when he follows me. It's funny. Oh my god, this place is huge! Oh, this place is too huge for net for- Ah, look, it's Fluffy. It comes up in my thing. Oh, it comes up in my menu, too. It's pretty cool. Ah, oh, Fluffy's so weak. He only has 30 health. He's still level 1, though. Just like David. David, you suck. But, um... Yeah, that's all the time we have for today, guys. Um... Yeah, this is gonna be a hard part to pass, I think. But, um... If you liked what you saw, subscribe, comment... Um, like and share with your friends, and it always helps me out. So, um, I'll see you in the next one. And as always, have a nice day. Peace! Ah! Fuck you! Ah! Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass, isn't it?